back again with another video. Um, this is uh, another NASA video that I wanted to make. Um, this was something that happened, let's see, a while back. I remember hearing about it. <clears throat> um, give me just a second. Yeah, I remember hearing about it, and I just thought it was odd. Ran across a conspiracy that's been around forever. Um, and I'll show you what I think. I, I honestly subscribe to this particular conspiracy. If you don't, that's up to you. It's just to me, it makes sense. So I'm going to show you a real quick little news clip of something odd. And then I'm going to show you what I think the real explanation is. Houston. Well. This actually is a serious story about a pretty harrowing spacewalk outside the International Space Station. The search for what went wrong is well underway right now, and we get the unbelievable details from ABC's Gina Sinceri of Houston. Spacewalks are dangerous. But when Italian astronaut Luca Parmentano started complaining about, well, something wet inside his helmet, his spacewalk partner Chris Cassidy like did a, a double water. take. I see a piece of sweat. No, no, it's not sweat. No, it's not sweat. Hey, Luca, can you clarify, is it increasing or not increasing? It's hard to tell, but it feels like a lot of water. Water? In his helmet? Yes, if there's enough water, he, he uh, certainly had that risk today, and that's why we took it so seriously. You, that's right. She said Luca Parmitano was in uh, danger of drowning uh, in his spacesuit, orbiting 260 uh, miles uh, above uh, planet Earth. It was only his second time out on a spacewalk. I feel a lot of water on the back of my head, but I don't think it speaks from my back. Are you sweating? Are you working hard? Um, I am sweating. It was roughly two glasses of water inside his helmet. Mission Control immediately aborted the spacewalk. Luca, we'll have you head back to the airlock. His crewmates inside yank off his helmet and grab towels to dry him off. It will take a couple of days before engineers figure out just what went wrong. If the water came from his hydration bag or from the cooling tubes that run through his spacesuit. Ironically, just a day. Okay, so astronaut nearly drowns in space um, doing a spacewalk in, in the ISS or outside of the ISS um, this is just something like I said I prescribe I, I subscribe to it um, but I, I'm gonna show you another real clip today NASA is already preparing a new generation of astronauts for the challenges of deep space exploration. This is the giant training pool at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Did you notice what color that pool was? Extre extremely blue. One of the coolest things about this job is that we're doing something different every day. And one day we're flying an airplane. The next day we're in the spacesuit doing a training run in the neutral buoyancy lab. Before joining NASA's astronaut corps, Jessica Mayer was already a distinguished physiologist, studying animals that thrive in extreme environments. She traded in her dive suit for a spacesuit and she brings her experience to the astronauts who will make the epic journey. We think about the long journey to Mars, the fact that it'll take about six to nine months with today's technology. Okay. Blue pool, literally like a complete replica of the ISS. Um, my personal belief on that is... Uh, Back before we had green screens, it's green screens now, we used to use blue screens. Uh, back when they were making movies and uh, CGI in general, you used blue. Now it's green because they figured out the green picks up better. I think, honestly, most of those spacewalks are in 
that particular blue pool. I think that's why that astronaut started drowning in his suit was there was a leak in the suit while he was in the pool. I think they CG out uh, the bubbles and all that because everything's blue around them. Um, which here's the thing though, as much as they CG stuff, um, you can, back in the day before YouTube started cracking down and deleting any type of, not any, but a lot of different conspiracy videos and stuff, um, you could find literally like hour long compilations of bubbles caught, you know, inside this space footage, in the space footage of them in the ISS and all that. So, I mean, if you want, I'm not going to sit here and play literally an hour-long compilation for you all. That's up to you to research on your own. That's just my theory. I think that all that ISS stuff is uh, CG filmed in a pool. But that's about it.